Hello everyone. So today I want to show you something that I've been working on. Uh, it's actually pretty simple. It is a simple induction heater, but it is pretty different from most induction heaters out there. It runs from a personal computer, and it's quite simple. It just has two optically isolated gate drivers that go to the audio output of the computer. And on the computer, it's just running Audacity, and Audacity has a feature. You can generate a tone like that, and this gener I have it set to generate a one kilohertz tone, and that goes into the gate drivers, which drive the IGBT there, which is 600 volts and 200 amps. We won't be using all of that, of course. And then the capacitor bank there, and the common there is hooked to the center tap of the capacitors, and the other side of the coil there is hooked to the common of the IGBT since it is a dual module. And then the capacitor bank gets the power from eight batteries. Got the current meter there, the voltmeter there, and I just want to show you real quick. We've got a screwdriver here, and we will run it at one kilohertz for two minutes, and watch what happens. Now again, I say one kilohertz, that's going to be audible, so you will he hear it ringing. And again, it's just the coil just hooked right up, no capacitors. Uh, or anything like that hooked on the coil. So, here it goes. There's a current. And as it starts to heat up, the current will fall. So it's falling right now, so it is heating up. And voltage. And there's the PC playing one kilohertz for two minutes. And we can actually zoom in on that waveform. And there's the square wave output. Back to normal. Current falling nicely. And the inductor wire here is just a pretty standard wire. It comes from an extension cord, just like this one. I'm not particularly sure what gauge that is. Not big, 14, maybe 16 gauge. And the core here is actually a ceramic resistor. And these are the original resistor terminals, which are not hooked up. It's just a coil of wire wrapped around it to form the inductor. We are at 128. Inside, can it is slightly glowing. I hope the camera can see that one. One fifty. One fifty three. 58, 59, 2 minutes. It's been 2 minutes. Look at that. Now, it, it does appear a little bit brighter on camera, but it is still glowing. And the meter wants to shut off. I know. So there you go. As I said, pretty basic. Two optically isolated gate drivers, HCPL 3120. Two PC power supplies just to provide the power for the gate drivers and again just eight standard 12 volt batteries running there. Could hook it up to the mains easily since we've got plenty of more current left in the IGBTs there. There we go. Pretty simple stuff. See you next.